Hello viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist and welcome to some more indie horror on the channel. This is Luminile Found Footage. It's another backroom style game and I don't know what that is in the freaking background of the screen there. Is that an entity or is that just some weird prop thing in the background of this scene? I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's another sort of backrooms liminal space kind of game. So I've been on quite a sort of binge of these recently. First with Backrooms Last Room, if I'd actually know with Liminal Place Remastered before that. Then obviously Backrooms The Labyrinth. Some of them have been, you know, quite good. There's a lot of obviously Backrooms games on Steam and to be honest a lot of them look like absolute trash. But every so often you do get one that looks interesting and has fairly decent positive ratings. And I do believe this, this one I don't think has a lot of ratings on Steam. I don't think this one is very well known. But I don't know, of the people who have reviewed it, they seem to have reviewed it quite positively, so we'll see what it's all about. I believe there's three chapters to this. Let's just begin and throw ourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. So as the title suggests, it's found footage. We are probably just some poor sap, once again, who has fallen into the back rooms. The Dev Dude, what an imagin imaginative dev name. Here we go. Illuminile found footage. So yes, there are big black bars down the sides. It's meant to be like that, because of course it's doing the classic VHS you know, VHS tape, low aspect ratio thing. Right, let's see, so, probably we're going to be... We are approaching Site 12A. Site 12A, okay. Alright, we're going to lower you down now. Oh, you reeled me from there. Right, spacebar apparently is to interact. Ooh. Hello, hello. Oh, we must be crouched in this hole. Okay. Looks the same as up there, but it feels a bit colder. Okay. Guys? Uh-oh. Bad stuff already happening. Okay, it's got the bleep again. Because once again, we are a researcher who's clearly dropped down. Ah, got a flashlight though. Well, let's go this way, why don't we? So the question is, what are we looking for? Are we just exploring, or is there something in particular that we want to find? Okay. Got some high mouse sensitivity here, but that's fine. Ah, that wallpaper. There's a lot of actually different wallpapers here, which is kind of interesting. Because that's the thing, actually, that I've seen people comment before about different depictions of the back rooms. How, if you look at the original back rooms image, the one that inspired it all. Obviously, ooh, a lot of the walls in the back rooms have different types of wallpaper on them, in the image that is. And yet, a lot of these back rooms gape, sometimes in these sort of traditional yellow halls. Often they sometimes use the same texture on the walls, but this one, clearly not. Alright, where are we going? I'm slightly concerned oh, about the fact that um, oh, we can get right down and crawl along the floor. That's not ideal, but hey, we'll do what we can. Uh, no, I was about to say I was slightly concerned by that thing on the main menu, because that feels like it could be an entity, and it looks like a pretty spooky one. So, we'll see. Maybe there's a monster? You just hear the constant creaking of my uh, hazmat suit. Oh, you want me to go in there, do you? Sure. I'll go in there. Even if it's probably a trap or something. Wait. What is that? Oh, hell no. Hell no, it's the fucking entity. There is a bloody entity here. Well, this is going to be like the one in friggin' the complex. Found footage, which only just pops out at you every once in a while. I do have a sprint. Which is nicht gut. Okay, you want me to go over there then? That's fine, we can do that. Oh god, there's a limit to my sprint. Of course the bloody is. Oh god, he has like a cool down, okay. So basically I can't just sprint indefinitely. I have to... Ooh, with a little lag spike then. 
Oh, what? Deja vu area. It's your first time here. If this place feels familiar, immediately alert an employee. If you see something, say something. Okay. Go into this area then. Is there anything different here? Oh. Something just move. Interact with that. Ooh. Enter code. Okay, I need to find a code. Right. Oh god, it's going to be hidden somewhere in the back room's maze, isn't it? Right, that's an issue. And I feel like there's going to be an entity here. It's going to make things a wee bit difficult for us. Alright, through here then. Let's go this way. Oh, never mind. Ooh! Hi! What? Oh, Jesus, what the fuck? Had a lag spike then. Hello? Were you there to begin with and I just didn't notice you? You freaky weird puppet thing. I don't know why I'm getting close to it. Can't interact with you. Alright, well you better stay there, buddy. You better not move. Otherwise you're going to make me leap ten feet out of my freaking skin. Alright, you just stay there, friendo. Is he the entity? Possibly. I don't want to know. He can fuck right off. That's what he can do. Right, so... Need a code. Question is, how big is it going to be? Uh, I feel like I'm going to turn around at some point and that guy's just going to be friggin' there. Waiting for me. He's going to be all, Hi, Red. Did you miss me? I heard you like puppets. Big spooky puppets. Well, good for you, because the back room's fucking full of these big spooky puppets. I remember watching that one time. You played the Nine Child Street demo. I absolutely jumped out of your skin when you started seeing weird puppets and mannequins. God, this is really dark here, isn't it? Even with the torch switched on. Alright, go down. Back into a well-lit area. sort of hugging the left here and hoping that that gets me to where I want to be, but I don't know what I'm looking for. That is the issue. Oh. Hello? Oh wait. There's weird little lag spikes every so often. Oh, there's nothing. Just darkness. Darkness and despair. Hello. Nothing over there. No. Okay. Who is this way? More big chair. Everybody loves big chairs. Don't they? Do you all love big chairs, ladies and gentlemen? You like big chairs and you cannot lie. <laughs> Wait. God, for a second I thought I saw something back there, but no. It's just me. It was just me, ladies and gentlemen, that's all it was. You can tell I'm on edge because I'm doing stupid voices. Ooh. Ooh, hello. I saw that movement. Whatever you were. It appears you move very, very quickly. Okay, you disappeared. Because of course. Of course you do. Is there a fucking couch somewhere around here? Wait, what the shit? Where's that couch I just saw a moment ago? Did I? Am I going mad? I think I'm going mad. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going crazy. What just happened? That's an empty room. Where a monster could potentially corner me. and I cannot light wait. It's gone in a fucking circle. Oh, Jesus. Where am I going? Spun the camera around again. Yeah, it just keeps having a little lag spikes. Where the fuck did I see a couch? I'm telling you, I saw a couch somewhere. Didn't I? Am I going mad? 
I think I'm going mad. I think I'm going crazy, ladies and gents. Oh god. Yeah, getting these lag spikes. Just out of nowhere. Alright. Go back this way then. I guess in the lag spikes maybe are just indications that perhaps certain things could be optimised in game. Ooh. Hello. Well, that's different. What have we got in here? Ah, the red walled area. What, you're not going to say that line, character? Oh, balls. Hmm. That makes me... These balls make me think of the bloody entity from the complex expedition. That one. Can I interact with this? No. Just like a set of blinds. Apparently not. Alright, we're going over this way then. Oh, God. Game, game, what are you doing? Oh, what's happening? Jesus. Let's spin my fucking camera around like that. Weird bloody lag spikes. Very strange. I think we're going through here then. I still haven't found any indications of a code. Oh, God. Is this where the main menu screen was with the entity? Oh, hello, balls. What's that about? Is the entity in here? I hear noises. I hear weird little fucking noises. Oh, hello, what's this? Can I look at that? Eh. Ooh. Oh, God. Okay, it takes a moment to think about it, doesn't it? I don't know how I got here, but I know how to escape. There's only one way out, the elevator. But I've, uh, but I've sealed it off in order to keep that thing from escaping. Spread the code to the elevator throughout the area on other papers. I've saved our reality, but at the same time I've locked myself here until I starve or that thing gets me. So it's six digit code, nine something one, something something something. Let me just write this down, otherwise I'll forget. Put the freaking light in my room on as well. Um, let's see, you got a piece of paper. So it's nine, one. I'll just put some lines there. Okay, so we've got two digits at least. Nine, one. Something, something, something. Right. Let me up again. So we don't need to be in here anymore, do we? By the looks of it. I hope the entity doesn't suddenly decide to jump out on me. Give me a right jump scare. He may well do. Who knows? Right, well, we found that. Just by sort of hugging the left wall a bit. Which is good. Right, I guess we have to go back the way we came. Why is that flashing? You do know. Let's keep going to the left. Keep going around. God. Friggin' steam notifications coming up, causing little lag spikes. Maybe it's steam that's causing it. Not actually the game. I don't know. Again, you you think it wouldn't cause it. No, oh, it's just a dead end. Is it? Oh, no, wait. Is there a path over this way? Hello? Hello, hello? Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh. I've just looped around back to the start. Alright, well, let's go this way then. We'll see what's in this direction. God, my torch does not illuminate very far in front of me, does it? Ladies and gents, we've got... Like spikes again. Something loading, or... Or what? Oh. Well, that's not ideal, having you three across here, is it? Can I get over you? No, I can't. Well, that's a problem. How do I get past them? Wait, unless there's something they're hiding? Uh, I should be looking at different angles here. No. I can't shift those chairs, apparently. They are impossible to move. Alright. In that case, I'm going to go this way. Back the way we came. So, there is only one way to go, then. I take it. And that's through there. See, normally you'd think if you sighted an entity, 
you'd immediately head back to this cable and make your way out. But no, video game logic dictates that our character stay in despite the glimpses of things he has seen. Because he's a bit of a numpty, that's why. Right, let's hook the right this time. See where that leads us. Go through here, definitely. Oh, never mind. It's a dead end. Never real mind. Oh, God. Gives us a leg spike. Uh, nothing. Oh, wait. That's where we were before. Never mind. So hang on. Oh, God. Jesus. Yeah, the mouse sensitivity is a combined with the freaking frame rate stutters from time to time do make it a bit annoying because it flings your camera around when you get to certain spaces. Oh, what the... See, like that. That's so confusing. Why does it do that? Like, which direction was I going now? Because I've completely fucking got turned around by that for no apparent fucking reason. Lordy. So now I'm just wandering off in a random direction probably going to get very lost, ladies and gentlemen. No, stop, 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 stop lagging. Stop stuttering, please. It's very annoying if you're going to do that. Uh, that's the way towards the elevator, isn't it? Jesus Christ, what the hell? I did not even move the mouse there, but it flipped me round. Oh, here we are. This looks new. Well, at least that's some... Fuck's sake. Stop turning the camera randomly. What is doing that? Come on. Okay, that's good. That... Uh, no, 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 no. You stay right the fuck. Right. Anything with the washing machines? Yeah. Interact with them? No. Oh, it's going to fucking waz my camera around again. Feels like the stuttering is getting more and more frequent. I don't know why. Let's go this way, because it's new. We haven't been under here. So this could be the indication that uh, we have somewhere a new to go. I mean, the thing is, we might not necessarily need to find all of these numbers. If we've got four of them... Oh my god, this is a big space under here by the looks of it. Or not. There's a space off that way. Now, I was about to say, if we find, I don't know, four numbers, then we'll probably head to the elevator and just guess the other two, right? I would imagine. I don't know. Oh god, this is not... This is not okay, especially if the game is going to freak out. Freak out on me. Right. Uh, there's a path down there. Let's head to the left. For fuck's sake. Camera stuttering. Camera stutters. Right, we can't go that way, that's nothing, so that leaves us only with this way to go. Hello. Oh. oh, pot it up. Uh, I see something interesting on the floor. Something good for me. Oh, that's not good. Look. Oh, God. Careful. Can I look at this, please? It's attacking more frequently. It's there every time I look over my shoulder. I don't know how much time I've left. It's always near. But make it feel safe. Uh, just so it can rip it all away from you. It's much more intelligent than I originally believed. Right, we've got a 7 and a 2. So it's 971 something something 2, right? So, that could be quite easy. We could just go back to the elevator and just brute force it if we wanted to. That could work. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bennett, what is happening? Why is it lagging like crazy all of a sudden? It's really going to annoy me if it's going to keep doing that. Just saying. Oh, fuck, fuck me. God damn, what am I even looking at? I'm looking at the floor. Good lord. Jesus, just get me out of here. Get me to the next level. Yeah, it is a little bit irritating and distracting, but... Ooh, careful. Right, I think we just need to sort of figure out the way back. Oh, literally, it's right here. Okay, <clears throat> we'll go through this way then. Head through the gap in the floor, have a sip of tea whilst I'm at it. Is there a shadow moving over there, or is that just me? Right, oh fucking hell, good lord. Oh, 
piss! What, what, just... Stop! Stop with the stuttering, please. I'm trying to uh, concentrate on what I'm doing. Right. One thing I will say, though, thank God that the character in this game has a tolerable walking speed. Okay, game, just stop freaking out. Something loading, I don't actually know. Even not altogether certain. It feels like something could be. Right, through this way. Find that there elevator. Is the puppet who was through here still in his corner? Yes, he is, thank God. Right. We go on. Uh, wait. The elevator this way. Wait, was it behind here? No, it wasn't. Or was it? Oh, it was around this corner. That's right. It was here. See? I'm getting turned around. I hope that there's no point here where I'm going to get chased by a monster, because if it stutters like that, that's going to fucking hell. That's going to make, make it such a pain in the ass. If it really starts to lag uncontrollably like that, when I'm trying to fucking do shit. Right, here we go. God damn, takes a moment. Okay, so... Nine. Wait, can I, can I enter the code, please? Oh my god, seriously? Jesus Christ, just clicking on that to get it to type caused it to lag like crazy. So it could be... 971... Oh god, actually this could be... This could take us a while though, couldn't it? Maybe I have to figure out all the permutations here. So, um... And some one, two. So we say like, is zero an option here? That could very well be. So it could be like zero. It also depends on whether numbers are repeated. So it could be like nine seven one zero zero two, or nine seven one zero one two, nine seven one zero two two. I'm going to assume the numbers are maybe different, but I'm not sure. Let's try one three two. Incorrect. Okay. Yep, can I click on it again, please? 971. Oh, God, we could be here a while at this rate, actually. You know what? Maybe I should take a jump cut, figure out all the possible permutations, and then just try them. Hold on. Let me jump cut. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here on the main menu. So I've got a spot of bad news. Basically, after I did the jump cut, uh, when I was going to try brute forcing that code, Basically, the game crashed, and it full-on quit me out, and even caused Steam to basically crash as well, which is bloody something. So I came back in, started re-recording, found the remainder of the code, and was making my way back to the elevator when suddenly the lag started kicking in really badly, and basically got to a point where I was getting less than one frame a second, and then basically a um, error pop-up box appeared, and I can't remember what it said, something about hardware, I don't know. But um, not long after that, as I approached the elevator, basically it all froze up, and I had to kind of tab out to Task Manager, and actually tabbing out was a freaking nightmare. And basically when Task Manager appeared, pretty much the disk and memory usage on my computer was capping out, so I basically just had to force quit out again. So unfortunately, there seemed to be issues here, and I don't know, is it something with the game, or is it something with my computer? Because I know my computer obviously isn't a new one anymore, you know, it's quite a few years old now at this point, but still, it's a pretty beefy PC. I've not really had issues quite as bad as this with any other game, so part of me is, I don't know, part of me feels like there could still be problems with this game, optimization issues, potentially, but who knows. So, unfortunately, um, you're not going to get to see the other chapters in this because I've decided that, given that basically I've had more effectively two crashes, I'm not prepared to just keep sticking at it. Because if it's happened twice, then it'll, it'll probably happen again. And I don't want that interrupting my playthrough constantly and potentially forcing me to have to restart chapters all the time and all that. So, yeah. Bit of a sucky experience with this game, unfortunately. Can't really bring myself to recommend it on that basis. I think the dev, you know, dev, if you're watching, might be worth um, just going over your game and just see if there's anything that needs fine-tuning, anything like that. But, hey, who knows. It's a shame that I don't have uh, footage of the uh, bit where an actual pop-up box appeared with an error message, because originally I was recording 
in Bandicam screen record mode when that came up, but then when the game effectively crashed again, it corrupted that element of the footage. So it's kind of annoying, but there's not really much I can do about it. So sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bit of a disappointment that that happened, but not a lot I can do, and I'm just not prepared to really put up with constant crashes, especially if they're going to cause my whole fucking system to have a meltdown each time. So yeah, I hope you understand. Alright, well we'll wrap up here then. Social media links, propagandist channel link for anyone interested are down below in the video description. If you enjoyed, a like is of course always appreciated. Join me for some uh, more indie horror content sometime hopefully fairly soon. And in the meantime, I'm signing off now. Goodbye everybody. Hey, Golden. Hello. 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 Ghosties, if you're going to try and jump scare me. Please get it over. Oh, never mind. Okay. Take a sauna. Oh, great. This surely isn't going to go badly for us now, is it? Alright. Take a sauna. Why the hell not? It's so dark in here. God, what's that sound? Oh, hello over there. I see you. See, I feel like, you know, by now, we would surely have just abandoned this gig. Just thought, fuck it. We're out of here. Okay, did someone drown in the bathtubs at some point?